Slayers, I want to slay with here and welcome back to another makeup tutorial on this YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, wow. If you're a new viewer, thank you so much for being here. I'm ecstatic that you found your way to my channel. I hope you stick around. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get a notification. One. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up in the section down below. That would really help me out so much, you guys. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as well as share with some of your friends and family, one to five people or more. Go above and beyond. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. So I want to answer one question really quickly before we get into the details of this look today. People really, 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 really love my tagline, slay always and always. To me, that's more than just a tagline. It's literally like a life model for me. I have literally tweaked my brand, like my brand is to slay. We are the Slayers. I am Owen O'Slay Way. My last name isn't actually spelled that way. My lash. <laughs> it just came to me one night and I was like, the brand. And I got it. Be like my little. <laughs> it's just basically apply yourself in all things that you do. Slay, excel at whatever that you set your mind to. If your dreams don't scare you, you're not dreaming hard enough. Shake the room. But anyway, you guys, today's look, we have this very beautiful, like sultry, like very natural eye look and just clean skin. If you want to learn how to achieve this look, you already know what to do. Stick around and we'll be right back after my intro. Cue it, please. Slayers, welcome back and let's jump right into this look. First thing that we're gonna do is hydrate our skin. The last couple of videos I've really been getting into my milk hydrating oil stick. In the spirit of black owned products and makeup, Fenty Beauty Mirror today, let's go. So I'm gonna focus it more on the outer parts of my face. I notice that when I do overdo the hydration under my eyes, my concealer tends to lift. If you watched the last video, you remember I was talking about I feel like it doesn't fully cover. I've, that's the reason why. So I'm blending this in with a beauty blender and I'm giving my beauty blender a spritz with some of this Black Radiance Matte Setting Spray. <laughs> I just found this in my drawer, so I'm gonna use it today. This is my Glamazon Beauty. <laughs> this is the Coveil Face Primer. I've been looking for this primer forever. I love using it under my eyes. I actually got this primer from Ricky's. Now let's move on to foundation. Let's use this, the Sunday Riley the influencer foundation so this is actually gonna be very, very great for today i actually was at the little event that they had in the city for this this was actually like my first beauty event that i went to it was kind of an open to all moment it was very nice very inclusive all for everyone in the beauty community okay so this is the influencer clean long wear foundation so it's natural looking long wear lightweight feel satin to matte finish and it's medium to full coverage so definitely love that for today um which it's you know it's gonna give me the look that we want for that clean skin focus kind of moment oh she's a little lying oh Ooh. you know what <laughs> i'm not even mad at it we'll make it work watch how i turn this today okay so nyx can't stop won't stop i'm gonna mix a little bit of that in here taking it right over those scars and then i'm just gonna take some right here as well it is the world that has the next thing I'm gonna do is my brows. Um, I'll be doing them off camera. The brows I'm gonna do today again are my bleached brows. That's part three of the brow series. The link will be in the description down below to the video. And I'll also put a card for um, the whole series. And I will see you right after this. Okay, so brows are on. Let's move right along. The next thing we're gonna do is prime our eyelids. We're gonna use our Clarity Eyelid Eyeshadow Primer, um, as well as some Tarte Shape Tape. I already have some on the back of my hand, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's just do this first. I like to just layer it really nicely. They have so many beautiful products. This is actually one of their eyeshadow palettes right here, Picante. Cute little ad. Bing! Now, once that's blended in, I'm actually gonna give my face a spritz of some of this matte setting spray. Mm. Now that 
that's done, we're ready to move on to eyeshadow. So for the eyes today, we're gonna start off with a brown. What eyeshadow palette are we gonna use today? Ooh, this was the first eyeshadow palette I ever bought, Insider. This was my first major makeup purchase, the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette. I've never, I haven't thrown it away because I just can't. Ugh. Memories, the Macy's at the Concord Mall in, in, in California. Ah! The days. Um, so we're gonna blend this brown shade from the Juvia's palette on our lids face first. Um, actually, we're gonna blend that into the crease. Let's do that because it's a really warm brown. So I want to start small and build it up. You will never make a mistake that way. Start small and build your colors up, you guys. I'm gonna be using my Morphe loose blending brush from the Holiday Iceland Collection. So this is a natural look, but it doesn't mean that it has to be lackluster, you know? Next, we're going in with the Picante palette from Carity Cosmetics. This is her right here. I think that I want to go in with this color Spicy. Let's swash it. So I'm swashing the color Spicy. Mmm, what do you guys think? I like that. Harvest, I've used that color before, so I'm not gonna use it today. I wanna try something new. This color is called Ash. It's A-I-S-H. Ash, I'm just gonna call it Ash. This, no, that one's too light. Taking my blending brush from Morphe, the same one we used to blend our crease and smoke this wing out, we're gonna just dip into spicy a little bit. We're gonna start small, cause it is a pinkier tone, like reddish tone eyeshadow. I don't want it to be too intense. I think I wanna lay down a shimmer on the inner corner. Okay, this is called bronzed. Okay, bronze is actually perfect. I don't hate it. Yeah, so you see, we kind of have a cut crease moment now without having actually cut a crease. So it doesn't look so intense. Uh, yes. We've done our eyes and now we're gonna move on to continue our skin. For our under eye concealer, we're gonna be using our Max Beauty Finish Concealer as well as our Tarte Shape Tape. You already know the process. Let's get right into it. What it is. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now in this very room. As that's sitting, I'm gonna start to contour. I'll be contouring off camera. If you guys wanna learn how to contour and how to contour your nose, that video will be linked in the description box down below. Let me get that done and I'll be right back. We are contoured, or at least step one of the contouring, and now we're gonna blend in our concealer. Okay, now that that's blended in, what we're gonna do is go in with our angle contour brush again, and we're gonna just bring some warmth to our face. So what I'm gonna do next is actually set my under eyes, literally push it into our skin. It's not setting powder, but you are setting with powder. Do you understand? <laughs> And this is just step one, because we're still gonna go in with setting powder after we do this. So for setting powder, you guys already know I'm using my Ben Knight Colorless Setting Powder. It is it. All right, girls and boys of the Slayer family, let's move right along. So what we're gonna do now is blush. So the shade that we're gonna use is the Coral Kaboom from Carity. This is it right here. See, it has a mirror and everything. And then I'm going to dip into the more shimmery shade, and that one is called On Point. And the brush I'm using is my Real Technique Blush Brush. Mmm. Yeah. Hello. Literally just realized that I still haven't contoured my nose. So let me quickly do that off camera. Again, if you want to know how to do it, that video will be linked in the description box down below. Give me one second. I'm going to do it right now, and we'll be right back. All right. Ooh. 
So the nose is contoured now. Yes, Lord. So let's move on to cleaning up the bottom half of our face. To do that, I am going to also be using my 39A Morphe eyeshadow palette. As you guys know, I'm gonna be using these two colors right here to dust off and warm the lower half of my face. For the waterline, I'm actually gonna take this brown shade right here in my Morphe 39O 39A palette. I'm half asleep. So for my liner, I'm gonna be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, and this is in black. I'm just literally darkening my lash line so that when I put my lashes on, we don't have that, you know, that gap, basically. All right, so for lashes, I'm gonna be doing the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I have this five pack, and I'm gonna go in with a fresh pair today. All right, so let me put these lashes on, and we'll be right back. Ooh. I mean, get in. Hello, mi amore. I'm really loving how this look is coming out. All right, so let's dust off this setting powder on the sides of our nose. I'm actually not dusting off. I'm gonna use my beauty blender and just push it and melt it into the skin. <laughs> Okay, so let's do our lips. For lips today, I'm gonna be doing the regular. I'm gonna line them out with my MAC pencil and then I'm going to put my clear gloss over them. Let's go. All right, you guys, so the lip is on. And I love it. All right, Slayer, so this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you guys enjoyed this video today, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up in the section down below. That would really help me out so much. Please share this video as well with anyone from one to five people or more if you would like of your friends and family who you think would enjoy this content. Show them this channel, share a link with them and have them come over and also become a part of the Slayers family. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so that you get a new notification each time that I upload a brand new video to this beautiful. YouTube channel. I really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to slay always and always. Bye Slayers!